guys, how you doing? This is Sally. How's your day going today? I'm going to do a review of Midnight Unicorn from Diamond Art Club. It took me, you guys probably saw the video where I did a time lapse of the process, so I will pop that in up the top. I will also put the unboxing in. But uh, 23 hours, how do I know that? I record the whole process. I started it on the 19th of July, finished it on the 22nd of July. Yes, I went hell for leather. Um, I was on days off, so I really got to enjoy it. The process of doing it. Now, Anna said this is what people call cross boundaries, I think. Um, but it came out stunning. And I will go closer into this. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to de-kit first. And then after I've de-kitted, I'm going to talk through the diamond painting and how I felt. Now, I will show you this little container. This I got from Timu. This is my new system for kitting down. Plastic baggies fit into here, but I do mine slightly differently. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, so I've adjusted the camera a little bit. We'll see how we go. And I will turn around and pop this under. So how are you guys going today? Mine day is going good. I am off for a 700 kilometer trip tomorrow, but I thought I'd film this before I go and I'll edit it while I'm away because <laughs> I'm going to have some quiet nights. Anyway, we'll quickly go through the kit that I got, all the pieces, obviously, drill tray, multi-placer, the plug for the drill tray, heart-shaped wax, washi tape, my cover minder pen and squishy and the all important plastic baggies so that's the bit that I need now like the tool kit um, I'll keep the washi because I did this as a cross boundary there was no need for me to actually tape off in sections because you can't tape off in sections okay I'll pop this in here for a bit and we will bag up if anybody is, I'll put these away where I need to, but if anybody's interested in the process that I do to create for my kit, the kit down and my storage, hopefully these baggies, oh, these baggies might be a little bit too big. Doesn't matter. With what I do with my to de kit and my storage, I actually do my own cards. So this is print and cut. So I'm just printing my DNC codes. I did miss one, <laughs> but I print, print with my DNC codes on the card, which makes it really easy to do. Right, I do need that tray. All right, so we'll kit start de kitting. The colors, there was, I'm gonna put. The special drills aside. Oh gosh, good baggies for sealing. And put the covers. I will put the um, A B's and the fairies aside, and we'll get to and de kit. And I'll do a cap a, a chat while I de kit. So how's your day going today? <laughs> As I said, I'm about to head off in a 700k trip. Not a round trip, straight up trip. <laughs> um, I will be heading down to Esperance to family. Uh, I think family now all all know, but yeah, I think I've told everybody. Going down, I'll see my son, my daughter-in-law, my two grandchildren, my mum, my stepfather, and then we will be there for three days. And then we'll do about another 700 plus kilometers back. So we're looking at about, um, I think about an eight hour drive, excluding stops. And there will be numerous stops because we have Misty coming with us. So if anybody's uh, been watching, I've been having fun with shorts lately. <laughs> and not as in the ones you wear. The shorts that for Misty, oh my gosh, the trouble she has caused. 
she has got really good recall so i can call her I, we walk off leash most of the time when there's other dogs around i call her she comes and we put the lead on and when we have people coming by walking by we do have the situation where i will make her come to me and sit and stay until they walk past so that's me doing the righty with her however at home my god she's hor well no she's not that horrible but you will see that when i take her out and walk her she does end up with the zoomies no issue there she has a lot of free space to run around with it when she's got the zoomies um, because we're in a state and they've opened up another section and they're starting to build there's a lot of bare dirt for her to run crazy in which she absolutely loves but this one one of the shorts that i've put together <laughs> we're walking in a park and <laughs> i'm laughing already walking in the park and they've drained some water out of a, a place and go, go. drain the water out of ah. somewhere and the, it's ended up being poured into the park and the footage is actually like eight o'clock at night so you know apple phones record really really good night night pictures so we were <laughs> the that there was ducks because we obviously we've got ducks in the area there was ducks sitting in the water there's probably only about that deep you know if that there might have been a couple of deep spots but most of it was really shallow and she spots these ducks and it's like all right and off she went and she doesn't generally like running through water we can't get her to go on into water at a beach hopefully now she's changed because of what happened but normally we can't get her to go in water at the beach. But this time she's chased in, jumped in and gone after these bloody ducks. And then, <laughs> and then I've had to call her back. And yeah, so that was that short. Now, there is some more footage to that when we went around the corner a bit. And she appears to be walking on water. And I will pop it up here so you can look at it. But it looks like she is walking on water. You might hear her in the background barking. Um, but yeah, she had a lot of fun that day, that night, and we've gotten home. So it's winter here, freezing cold. We've gotten home, and all I can say to Nathan, don't touch her, she's wet. She doesn't like being dried off either. But yeah, don't touch her, she's wet. Well, what are we doing? So, <laughs> oh one hell of a wet dog we'd walk through dirt on the way back so she had she was wet she was a bit muddy oh gosh but she had fun well what are we uh, doing we're going home or what yeah we sh i shared that as a short now there's a couple of other shorts that i put out that was for <coughs> my, our couch so if you've ever seen any of my whooping chats where i've discussed about we went away and she dug into our bed mat our mattress of our bed and we had to replace the mattress well this time she dug into the couch which isn't too bad because well it is bad but my couch is about 20 years old so i'm okay with it because it's not like she's damaged an expensive new couch or anything this is a couch that saw my children grow up so it wasn't a case of, you know, it wasn't a brand new or even, yeah, it was a fairly old couch. Comfiest couch I've ever owned. Not that I've owned many, but comfiest couch I've actually sat in. It's, uh, it's a really good couch in that way. But it's modular, which means it comes into pieces. And her first attack, and I will say first attack, was on the, um, I need more of these containers, don't I? Her first attack was actually on the um, single seater section. So, um, actually, 
actually I might do it this way. One, two, we do threes. Don't know where this is going to work. Fours. Okay. Can I only try? This is an idea. Um, yeah, so it was just the single section. So I removed the cushions from the, the fluff that she'd sent everywhere. Put that fluff in the bin and then grabbed the single section um, which had the base bottom cushion still in P. It was still all together. And turned around, put that out the back and went, right, she can have that couch. Well... So that was the bit of footing footage where you can see I've come home and she's like jumped over top of the couch and kind of going, I want to get out of here because I know I'm about to get growled at. And then so, yeah, the next footage that I shared with you guys was footage when we were at uh, NRL Doubleheader. So we're at a footy game, basically. Um, we have a pet cam which I hadn't been using and I decided that I was going to put it on. So lo and behold, we put it on. I get notification of movement and there's nothing I can do about it, but just let the camera roll. So she's actually gone in, pulled out the cushion top and then <laughs> proceeded to kick the fluff out and she went and light laid in it. So what we've done now is we've come home, we've put the stuffing back in, and we, all we've done is we've just put a blanket around it so that, to put it the best, best way to put it, so that if she wants to do it again, it's there. Um, saves her from destroying any further parts of the couch and we're not getting a new couch until she gets out of this stupid puppy phase that she is in so yeah um but with all the destruction that she's doing you'd think it's not it's not it could be boredom it could be anxiety she's she suckles blankets um, I mean, for me, I personally believe that she was taken away from her mother and her um, litter, her, her sibling, brothers and sisters, um, too soon, which is why we have this going on with her. So, not much we can do about it, but I've started walking her now. When I'm on days off, I now walk her twice a day. So I get out of bed, I have my fruit juice, I have my coffee, and I take her for a walk. And then at night time, after dinner, I take her for another walk. So she's get I'm getting her out, getting her walking. So you know it's not like she's got, you know, I'm doing this to try and help burn off some energy. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> you never know until you give it a go. So we've been doing that. Um, for a little while now. Oh, shut that up. But she's still full of boundless energy. And today, when I went out, I left her inside because I wasn't. I went out and I wasn't. I wasn't away from. I was out for a while, but I was only like ten minute drive away. So it was like, well, I'll leave her in and I'll just keep an eye on the cameras. No, no issue there. Mm. So she did chew something. I'll pop it here because I busted her. She did chew something inside, which was actually a birthday card that I got Nathan. Um, yeah. So she chewed that up. Not good move. Um, and I thought, oh, that well, that was it. That was all she chewed up. Good thing. No, that wasn't all she chewed. <laughs> that was not all she chewed. I've gone out the back door in the laundry, 
and chewed, chewed up my mat at the back outside the laundry into absolute pieces. She has destroyed it. Okay. I need some more baggies. Okay. Um, yeah, so footage of uh, me at home filming what she chewed. Oh my god. I have brought her some tablets. Well, not tablets, some chew well chew tablets that reduce anxiety and I gave her some yesterday and noticed a big difference in her last night I gave it to her yesterday afternoon last night she was there was a big difference in her how she was um, 303 I'm just gonna yeah so fingers crossed if I keep using these on her when I go out she won't be as bad. It's either that or I leave her outside. And when I put her outside, she destroys stuff outside. I've, I've given up trying to keep up with plants and bushes. Just, there's no point. No point, because she digs them up. She gets bored, she digs them up. So, hope or she gets anxiety, whatever. So hopefully, the anxiety will lessen and uh, hopefully she'll uh, get better it's between that and her um as she gets older maybe there'll be a difference but as we know time will tell but what i will do i was continue to share with you guys on shorts if she does anything naughty um and I'll do some park walks with her, which is what I used to do with Bo. I used to share park walks with you guys. So, yeah, I, I'm going to go back to sharing that. Although, I got her a collar. I shouldn't say although. I should say I got her a collar. And that lights up. So, she's really easy to spot, which is what, the, what she's wearing when you see her prancing through the water got I got that one and I got a second one the second one I'm not as keen on but the first one when I got it it's from Timu I can't get it at the moment because I was going to, want to get another one um, when I first got it I wasn't very careful with how you plug it in and I've actually bunged the prong so it only goes as one color real smart I know it changed it's got a rainbow of colors of it but because I broke the prong um, it's only coming up with that one colour, which is green. Still pretty. Very visible, very visible. Right. Um, so, yeah, the advent misadventures of Misty, which, yeah, every now and then I just call her a future rescue dog, especially when I come home to the destruction that she can cause. I've had, so some of the things that she's destroyed, um, one of those is feather pillows, and I will say with an S, because I had a feather pillow that I've had for years, absolute years, and what can I say? She chewed it up. It looked like she'd killed a bird on my bed. But she also chewed up another pillow, which is a foam pillow, a memory foam pillow. So uh, I accepted that and I've gone, gone to the shops and I brought myself a new pillow. And yeah, put that on the bed, no problem. But while I was out, she'd actually gotten to and chewed something. She'd chewed our tri pillows. So you think I'd learn. I have learned now, I can tell you that much. She chewed our tri pillows. So I went out and bought new tri pillows and I came back and she had already gone through our my second feather pillow. Feather and down pillow. Don't tell me I was not impressed. So I'm now on my third feather and down pillow. <laughs> oh and um, when 
we're at home well what even when we're even when we're at home that bedroom door is shut she is not allowed in the bedroom unless we're in there she's too destructive she's beautiful we love her but the comments I have from people that I show these pictures to that I work with <laughs> and one of them's like I would have shot her by now and then Missy does something else and he goes I really would have shot her by now <laughs> so yeah alright um, I'm just going to rearrange these eights eight 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 put the sevens there fives five and six and the fours so let's get on and review what I have done here this I was I enjoyed it love the image and let's just pop these to the side I'll just clear this mess up and then I'll take you through what I've how I feel about it right so we'll go through it drills didn't run out of any had good quality um, so the drills I was happy with we did get five special drills the toolkit was good I will say the labels um, I had to be very careful with the labels because they kept peeling up um, so they weren't too keen to stay on my craft mates but that was just a case of keep an eye on it um, bring the camera down and we'll have a close look in a sec right it did come out lovely do like the how it came out oops loose drill on top came out really pretty including the reflection the special drills that we had okay so what I'm going to do is point out the special drills the first ones the a B drills oh we will get in and zoom you in and bear with me while I zoom in to try and show you these where these drills are right so we had AB drills. Now the AB drills were up here in the moon. Okay. Do you see them scattered through here? Okay. There we go. You've actually got a little bit of it. And you also have the so the 101 AB was down here. And the 125 up here in the moon and then again we had the 125 here and the 101 down here on also on the moon the special drills though so the fairy drills so the Zs right these a little bit harder to see and i will pull this over i'm just trying to see if i can spot them easily right so we had the fairies were here the top of the tail in the 3865 so the white fairy and they came up on the horn we also had them scattered in the main here so like we've got a b's here but we had the scattering of that around here and here um that looks like it's in the wrong spot doesn't it have to look at that the next one is the z3747 which was a pale mauvey color and that actually came along the tail down here and here um, trying to see if I spotted it anywhere else 
Okay, there wasn't that much used. And then the other one is the 793, which, not there. Which, funnily enough, all right, here we go here. They were here, um, down here. And yet again, still a little bit in the tail. They were, they're very hard to spot. They are so subtle but um, I don't know if they add to the add to it or not so let's um, try and see if I can get you even closer there's closer and what I'll do is so that was a fairy along here at the very, at the very top line and you can hardly tell that they are there so yet again here, but you can still, they don't really show. So I will say they are pretty, but I don't think they were needed. I suppose if it was kind of a bigger, a bigger um, area, maybe. But I don't think it was... But I don't think it made much difference to the image. It was just cute to have, but I don't think it added to the image. So um, the ABs, yes, but the fairy ones, I don't think they were really necessary. But let me know what you think. We'll say I do love the image. Do love it. Don't know what I'm going to do with it because as we, we all buy diamond paintings because we love the images, not necessarily because we have somewhere for it to go. The unicorn, the reflection actually turned out lovely. And yeah, I think that's the wrong drill colour. You can actually see that spot there. Hang on, let's see. Lift that up. Yeah, definitely wrong colour. Which one was it? Oh, that was a 310. Replace that one. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, yeah, let me know what you think. I will say, guys, thank you for joining me on this one and my little chat about Terrible Misty and her misadventures. But, yeah, I do like it. You can actually see the... the the, basically the rock face up here that the castle or the, the castle ruins are sitting on okay guys I will say thank you for watching comment like subscribe share all that jazz and bye for now